Guys, I got the gator stuck. They say no good deed goes unpunished, and I'm paying for this one. Now, don't get me wrong, I was happy to help out a friend when I got the call. Actually, I was already planning on coming over before I got the call. His wife texted my wife with a picture that said, don't tell Courtney, but Scott got stuck. He's falling through the ice on the lake. I knew I had to come over and help out right then and was happy to do it. However, we're on day two now and my gator is still stuck down in the lake. So I hooked up the trailer, went over there, and we had that Polaris unstuck, pulled out of the ice in like five, 10 minutes once I got there. It was a piece of cake. That's just the beginning of the story. We thought about having Chris come over and video the whole thing, and I said, nah, it's probably not video worthy, and boy was I wrong. So we're on day two, you're gonna pick up kind of mid-story here. The easy part again was hooking up the winch, towing out the Polaris. The Gators say the Polaris, it was a piece of cake, it was a dream come true, something I've always wanted to do. However, the Polaris may end up saving the Gator. One of the many problems along the way was the fact that uh, this new winch that I got, you can see it's not exactly um, secured to the base here. So. It came in, installed on the gator, and uh, this is a bit of a problem. Lost a bunch of the bolts, they just fell out. So I went to the hardware store, got some replacements. So we gotta get these put on here. So getting my gator back up the hill, right along the lake, ended up being a big problem. So we were gonna side skirt the lake to a shallower incline there. It would be a lot easier to get uh, out back to the road. Turns out, got stuck right in mud down there, pulled out the winch to try to rope off to something and, and dig myself out of the mud. And the rope came completely out of the winch. Couldn't figure out how to put it back in. It looked like it was almost broken on the end. I just gave it a tug and the, the rope literally just came right out uh, of the winch itself. So I called and called and called and got really lucky. Found a place that had the winch rope in stock. Couldn't find any directions on how to put this winch rope back in. It was really weird, not like a winch I'd ever seen before. Turns out my winch rope wasn't broken at all, it was just missing a part. This is actually what the end of the winch rope looks like. It's supposed to look like this. Now it doesn't include a very critical part. This critical component being some sort of a little disc, it's not identified anywhere on here, but it's a, uh, a, a disc you're supposed to wrap the rope around, I guess, and stuff it back in there and it kind of provides tension to lock it in place. I mean, maybe this disc was here originally, maybe it wasn't because the rope fell right out. And guess what? You buy a new winch rope, it's not included. The Warren dealer didn't know anything about it. They'd never seen it before. Um, so it's a bit of a mystery. It's not anywhere to be found online. It's not in the winch manual. It's not with the new rope manual. It's just a complete mystery. Something I've never seen. It's like they just had to make things more difficult. And this is the only one in town when they looked it up in the system as well, these were back ordered uh, from Warren. So besides this single piece I had here, I bought it anyway, just so I could have a backup because it's apparently like trying to find gold. So we had to Jerry rig a solution in the meantime until I can get the, the right or correct solution from Warren, which who knows how long that's gonna take, but I don't want my gator sinking down into the mud or sinking into the lake. So we just made a knot and kind of heated it up and melted it and hammered it and pushed it and tugged on it to get it kind of stuck down in that uh, slot there as best we could. We're going to try to make do for now. Okay. If you want to see something really fun, check this out. Sleeve. Double sleeve and then the receiver. Do you know how much fun it is to try to line up the holes <laughs> on all four of these pieces of steel here? It's not very much fun. <clears throat> oh, sweet, I don't have to use the hammer this time. Whew. If you enjoyed the video, would you give me a thumbs up, hit that button right down below, there's a subscribe button right next to it as well. If you haven't done so yet, I'd encourage you to do so and read through that description right underneath the video if you're in the market for a tractor or a cool tractor attachment.
negative five last night. I've been keeping my gator stored inside so I didn't put any anti-gel in there. That's the big no-no, I know. So hopefully it's thawed out by now, but just in case, I wanna grab that. I really hope I don't have to use that battery jumper because I don't know where those other terminals are at that supposedly are more accessible on the gator. fun you know this is grown up fun right here unstucking our stuck stuff that makes sense right we're over at the scene of the crime right now came over here yesterday to get my good buddies polaris out of the lake by the way this is scott my good buddy we used to live in the same neighborhood now we don't he moved away i scared him away pretty quick he, he moved he put his house for sale like six months after i moved in can you believe that move away from me the front two wheels had fallen through even though we've had all these frigid temperatures been out there maintaining the ice rink and everything else for whatever reason, I don't know, it just went through, huh? Just a sloppy day. I think the snow had melted off that top layer of ice. And I mean, it's been minus 100 for a month, it seems like. Yeah. And uh, just went through a little bit and that's all it took. I was happy to bring over the Gator. I thought it was gonna be a slam dunk. Get it in, get it out, no problem, and head on home. However, the first part of that was a piece of cake, but trying to get the Gator back up the hill proved to be a big challenge. Long story short, we're stuck in the mud. We're on to plan B or C or D, or whatever it is at this point. We gotta figure out a way to get it back up here into my trailer and get her home. All right, so here we are stuck in the mud right along the shoreline. You can see over here, you have almost a, a level shot to get back to the road versus the original way we came down the hill. It's, it was almost impossible to get up there, but we're gonna try a different version of that today. We're gonna to try to back it up after we can get it unstuck out of this mud, hopefully. And then we're gonna to try to reverse up the hill, winch it off to a tree or maybe to um, the Polaris and see what happens. That's the plan for now, but things are always subject to change. Oh. Does that sound weird? I wonder, if it, I wonder if it's partially restricted, like partially gelled. There we go. I had to work through that, I bet. My technical assessment. we could just back that sucker right on out however it is frozen in there solid i don't know what it is about yesterday versus today i mean yesterday it was just as cold as it is today but everything was sloppy for some reason yesterday and today it's frozen up solid so uh the front wheels appear to be completely encapsulated at least the one does in the mud and snow and frozen in place can't even spin out of there it took quite a bit of juice just to get those rear tires to spin at all but certainly not enough to free it up we're going to bring the quad down now see if we can hook up to that between the power of the gator the power of the quad get it out of there well, let's uh wind up this winch a bit. Tires completely off the ground and just resting on the frame. Smash off. Right, 
we have to give her a shot. Nice. Oh, the most movement we've had yet. Well, that's one way to get out of the work and just stand behind the camera, huh? Down in there. That's fun. This was no traction there. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna get front. Let's just see. Yeah, I think this is gonna be enough. What's Let's find a tie off point underneath down here somewhere on this side. Just, I'm holding tension on it so we don't lose it, the world, but. Um... I don't think it's doing anything. Keep winching, Wait, keep winching, keep winching. When you pull out the manual, that's when you're near the end. This winch is pretty pathetic. I would have thought this winch would have been a bit stronger. It's a 4,500 pound winch. Hey, Scott, why don't you come on this side and help me push? I don't know if it'll actually matter or not. Yeah, if we can just roll it. I'll just go out there, I'll go across the lake, do a couple 360s, come back. Oh, oh. Yeah, keep doing that. There you go. There you go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop. Winch it, baby. Winch her. Okay, now you're straight. Are you winching? Yes, I'm holding the winch down. Okay, so after three hours of effort, we managed to turn it 90 degrees from a sinkhole this way to a sinkhole this way. The worst part about this whole thing is we now got good access to trees to winch this to, a slight incline, and this 4,500 pound worn winch is completely letting us down. It's not moving the gator, not an inch. It's just sitting there whining and doing nothing. It's a real letdown, I'll be honest. So what's the point of having a winch if it's not gonna work in a situation when you need it? This is a total failure. So we're gonna be on day number three, trying to extract the gator from down by the lake. Hope you join us. Yeah, back for day three now. Uh, we moved it three foot yesterday. Yesterday was kind of fun. Today I'm, I'm over it. I'm ready to get that gator out of there. I know it might look like it's a straightforward thing to do on, uh, on camera, but it's kind of precarious. I can't say that this is really uh, endearing the gator to me. The thought has crossed my mind between yesterday and today of selling it. I'm not there yet, but this isn't helping the case. However, we're in it this far, I could call a tow truck, but you know, once you get into it to a certain point, you just want to finish it and see it through. So I'm bound to determine to make that happen. You might be able to see that gator way down there it would have been nice to do this in the first place, except for the gator was facing that way. No way to do it without tipping it over. So our efforts yesterday got it kind of positioned the right way to tow it right through here. Now, supposedly a bunch of deep ruts all the way through this. I don't really care. I'm just dragging that thing until it's up here.
right, so we've got everything hooked up, four or five toe straps and the winch cable, something like that. It, it's, it's all daisy chained together. The gator decided to freeze itself in the mud overnight. You can't even spin the tires right now. It's just not enough power. It's just sitting there doing nothing. So that's really helpful. But uh, we're short a man today. It's just me and Chris. So we got the camera set up however we could. Let's see what happens. Now from the very beginning, this tire here has not turned or spun on its own. Online looking at the specs, it says something about limited front slip differential. That tire spins on the far side. This one never moves. Both the rear wheels or tires will spin though when you have the rear differential locked in. I don't know if that's broken or if that's how it's supposed to be, but this wheel not having any power doesn't help. Well, you know, this was a weak link. Obviously only rated for 4,500 pounds versus 40,000 or whatever the other uh, toe straps are rated for. But we do have another toe strap. 4,500 pound winch that uh, can't move. I looked up the specs. This thing weighs about 2,300 pounds. You do have the plow on there that's about another six or 700 pounds maybe. So around 3,000 pounds total. This is rated for 4,500 pounds. Even when this wasn't frozen to the ground, you couldn't tie it off to a tree and it wouldn't, it wouldn't even budge up the hill. Not even, wouldn't even try. So I'm not sure when this thing is pulling 4,500 pounds, if it's on a perfectly level flat surface, like in a parking lot, maybe then. progress we got it up this hill 10 15 20 feet whatever it is the problem is it wants to keep sliding into this tree right here we can't get it by it um, with what we have to work with see we got it on hard ground here finally after three days anybody want to buy a gator <laughs> now as bad as things are gone we don't think we got the actual final toe out on camera thought it was recording but as you can see here's the final results all right so final thoughts yeah never mind you know what that's a wrap I'm all done I'm going home like subscribe read below Find me the closest John Deere dealer. It's time to trade this thing in.